This is Year in Review. Hello, I'm a sixth grader at Hillsborough Elementary Middle School. I would like to donate the whole nine yards to you, to the Hillsborough Library, for other people to enjoy. The incubator has a part in it where it turns and it warms the eggs. The eggs have to be warm enough, not too hot or not too cold to be able to grow. This is theater makeup class, and as you can see, today we're doing skeleton makeup. It's homecoming makeup at Hillsdale, and we're getting ready to watch the parade. In second grade, our baby chicks are hatching. It took 21 days for them to hatch. In honor of Williamson County's Be Nice Month, Hillsboro students participated in the Kindness Rocks program. We're so excited that all 650 plus students were able to create a rock to take out into the community this Friday to spread kindness. I made my classroom into a morgue, so my students are visiting Hillsboro Hospital Morgue as our interns for the day, so they're studying different corpses and different case studies for different famous characters. We're writing an essay in eighth grade about our treasure and now we have a celebration where everyone can go around and read your essay and write good comments about it. This week at Hillsboro School, we are celebrating Red Ribbon Week. We're promoting a healthy lifestyle by saying no to drugs and alcohol. And this young lady is Wawa Woman. This week at Hillsboro, it's Book Fair Week. What book are you reading, Lainey? Which it's my favorite book from the book fair. At Hillsboro, we're going to have a Veterans Day program. We're going to sing songs and do a poem. Today in second grade, it was our last day learning about Native Americans. So we made headdresses and Native American vest. We're part of Miss Harley's group here at Hillsboro. We're the seventh graders. Help the third graders find good books to read. This week in fourth grade, we're learning about the African dwarf frog and the fiddler crabs. We learn mostly about how they adapt to their surroundings and where they live and how they survive. We have been studying um, the African dwarf frogs and the fiddler crabs. It's moving and interacting and they can see how they interact with each other. They did some comparing and contrasting about the adaptations they have that are different and what they have that are in common and how it helps them survive. Learning about clayfish. One fact about clayfish is that clayfish eat things that are already dead. So that means they're scavengers. We're in Ms. Stumney's sixth grade minor guitar class. And we're learning some chords, um, strings, and some new songs. We're in Miss Joy's second grade class. And we're learning about money and coins and how much they're worth. Today I'm hungry. Day of school. Today in, in kindergarten, we're searching for 100 horseshoe kisses in a way. We were in Miss Josie's class. And we got a thousand dojo points. And today's pajama day for us. So our kindergartners yeah, earned a science lesson. Lady? Uh, through Ashley? their PBIS. Um, we are learning about the Silk Road and the Great Wall of China, and these are the some of the spices that they traded uh, for the Silk Road. This week is book fair, and today is just your favorite animal day, and I'm a unicorn. Today in third grade, it's market day. We are going to be buying and selling products. Today in yoga class, we learned kind of how to like stretch ourselves out in like new posts and stuff. We are focusing on strengthening, like, getting great upper body flexibility and um, lower body flexibility. The treasurer of Tennessee came to our class today, Mr. Lillard, to teach us about income taxes and property taxes, and we did the um, lessons ever Friday. It was pretty cool. We had an alphabet lesson. I was the letter A, I was the letter S. Welcome to the first grade wild animal safari, where we have been researching animals and placing them in their appropriate habitat. Today at Hillsborough School, we are having our Careers on Wheels event. We have invited several members from the community to come out and present their careers to our elementary students. For our year in review, thank you, Brooke Pinrod, for capturing all these great memories.